In most Excel files, it's important to know which cells are blank and which cells have something in them. And in this example, we've got a little table and a formula here is counting the items in column C and it's counted five items, which is correct. If I click in the top cell in this table, point to the bottom border and double click, it stops just above the first blank cell. So everything's working correctly here. But sometimes you bring in data from another database, perhaps. Here's some data that's come from Access, and it looks the same, but the count, the same formula, is now showing eight items. So it's counting these blank cells in the table, even though they look blank to us. It's recognizing something in that cell that it should count. If I click on the top cell and point to its bottom border, when I double click it goes right to the end so it's recognizing the blank cell below the table but none of the blanks within the table. So to fix that we could use the replace command in Excel and you can record a macro while you do that if you wish and then if you encounter other data with the same problem, you'd be able to fix it with your macro. So here's another sheet with the same data, so showing 8 as the count. And to fix this with the replace function, I'm going to click on the record button and just click OK to start recording. I'll select the cells where there are blanks mixed in and on the Home tab of the ribbon, click Find and Select, and click Replace. And that will open the Find and Replace window with the Replace tab active. For Find What, I'm just going to leave that empty. And Replace With, I'll type a string of characters that I know isn't anywhere in this table. So, four dollar signs. I know that's nowhere in my, my data. Then I'll click Replace All, and in the background you can see that those blank cells are filled in now, and the count is still showing 8. To reverse that, I'll delete that entry in Replace With, and tell it to look for four dollar signs and replace those with nothing. When I click Replace All now, you can see the blank cells again, and the count is now correct at five items. So I'll close that and turn off the recorder. On the Developer tab, I can go to Visual Basic and find the code that was just created. So here it is. And it's, I had a certain cell range selected. And I'm just going to delete that range so it won't select those cells next time I run this macro. Next time I run the macro, it'll just work on the selection. So whatever cells are selected, it will look for blanks, replace them with dollar signs, and then do the reverse. Look for those dollar signs and replace it with blank. So to test that macro, I've got another sheet here where it's still showing a count of 8. I'll select the cells, and under View, Macros, and here's the macro that I recorded. Run that and it fixes the cells.